Matthew Stuggy here from Verity Baptist Church Manila and Verity Baptist Church Pampanga. Just going to give you a quick, really quick missionary update. Very busy week coming up. 142 salvations this past week. Another great week. We, we smashed 100. Uh, great attendances. We had four baptisms. Um, so great results. 126 in Manila, 16 in Pampanga. So recently in Pampanga, we've been going door to door, which is better at bringing visitors to church. And we, of course, want to hit... Um, every door and try to talk to everybody that we can but we don't get as many salvations so we decided to try to check out the parks and we're going to try to figure out what the balance is and you know as our church grows in number we'll probably have about a, a, a distribution between both of those things as you know when it comes to our church in manila we send some people door to door and then some to the parks on sunday if we have too many in the parks, it's a bit of an overload. There are a lot of people at the parks, but we, we don't have the capacity at the parks nearby, either of our churches, to send 50 people on a Sunday. So we'll send in Manila, we'll send like 15 or something like that. Anything more than that is going to be a little bit difficult. So great results in Pampanga, great attendance. And then also in Manila, we had 126 salvations. Really solid week. Um, great results on Saturday and Sunday. We have soul winning going on in a lot of different locations. And so, um, you know, this next week, though, we're expecting a big week. We're expecting some records to be smashed. And it's not a, a, a normal week, but we're expecting probably, as, as long as the weather holds up, our, our best salvation totals since our church started outside of when we did the missions trip. Because we're actually hosting four soul winning events on Friday. And Friday is a Chinese New Year here. And there's a lot of holidays in the Philippines. We, we, we want to take advantage of those and do a lot of soul winning events. Two of those events are going to be in Metro Manila. Southern Metro Manila. And then also in Quezon City. And we're going to have more details in a video later this week. We're also doing a soul winning event in Bulacan. And we've been wanting to do soul winning events in Bulacan. And we got rained out once. And then the pandemic hit. And so we're going to Bulacan though. We have, we have families that come from Bulacan. And we have other families that are and people that are nearby. And I'm sure we have like-minded people in Bulacan. And I'm hoping some of those people can get to start coming to uh, soul winning events. Obviously, we know, um, you know it's, it's difficult to travel all the way to church. We do have a few families that come from Bulacan. But, you know, Bulacan's a big province. And for some people, it's going to be way, way too far. So, um, anyways, though, please come out on Friday if you're like-minded to our soul winning event in Bulacan. And then also, uh, we've got a soul winning event going on in Ilo Ilo City. Um, you know, we're not able to have any of our church members go to that event, but I've met many people from Elo Elo that have either visited our church or were here for the missions trip from Elo Elo that are like minded. And so we're really trying to help, um, you know, get everybody connected together. And, you know, I'm sure there's more people in Elo Elo as well. And I, I want you to realize if you're out there listening and you're from that area or nearby, there's like-minded brethren, you know, brothers and sisters in Christ in that area, and we want to try to get everyone connected. So, you know, come to that event, and we're going to be paying for lunch if you come to any of those events. And, uh, you know, it'll be great fellowship, lots of soul saved. We're going to be able to, to rejoice in the great results. So it's going to be a big week, busy week coming. We also have our Sweetheart Banquet coming on Sunday, our first annual in Manila, and a lot of events. And then the next week, on February 20th, I believe it is, um, on that Saturday, in, in uh, just under two weeks, we're going to have a soul winning event in Pampanga and a great time of fellowship. So we got a lot going on, and you know we've been really blessed recently that uh, people have donated to our ministry, and uh, you know we've been able to use that money to do soul winning events. And you know things are going great at our churches, but we also want to help uh, get new churches started. And whether we're planning that church or whether or not we can help gather the soul winners together, and a like minded person could. You know, start a church there or take that church over. We're happy to see it happen, and uh, you know things are going really great here. Just the sermons I preached this past week. I preached uh, two sermons on repentance on um, in the weekend sermons. I preached biblical reasons for repentance of sins refuted and logical reasons for repentance of sins refuted. Obviously, we believe in repentance at Verity Baptist Church. But in terms of spiritual salvation, receiving salvation, it's just a change of what you believe to believe on Jesus Christ. After you are saved, you should turn from your sins, okay? But that has nothing to do with receiving salvation. And I went through the 18 biggest arguments that I know of on repentance of sins, and we disproved all those from the Bible. Then on Wednesday in Hosea, Hosea chapter eight, 
I preached about the hypocrisy of Israel. Really interesting chapter, a lot of great information. So anyways, things are going great. Busy week coming. Um, we're excited about everything going on here and just continue to pray for our ministry. And thank you and God bless.